Just six nights before he challenges for the WWE Championship. The monster among monsters, Braun Strowman competes in a one-on-one -on -one match for the first time since his return as he takes on the almighty Bobby Lashley in the main event. Plus, the semifinals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic are live and in living color here tonight at Albuquerque. The Usos returned to Raw last week with a vendetta. Tonight, they run into pretty deadly in the semifinals of the 2024 Dusty Cup. We are live tonight, Albuquerque, New Mexico, in the middle of the pit, just six nights before our trip to Miami, Florida, at the Elimination Chamber. And not only are the Usos set to challenge pretty deadly later tonight, but there is another semifinal contest in the midst of the Dusty Classic on hand. Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford looking to complete their resurgence on Monday Night Raw by punching their ticket to the Elimination Chamber and winning the 2024 Dusty Classic. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring at a combined weight of 492 pounds. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profit! Well, let's take a look at the bracket thus far. The Street Profits turning away the Brawling Brutes two weeks ago. The Creed Brothers, who they will challenge up next, taking down Karrion Cross and Joe Gacy last week. Pretty deadly. Turned away Cedric Alexander and Cameron Grimes. And of course, the Usos returning successfully last week against Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods of the New Day. It has been an awesome tournament thus far. We started with eight teams. Four have already been the casualties. There is four teams remaining. Only two are going to make it to Lone Depot Park, live at 5 p.m. Eastern time this Saturday night, or excuse me, this Sunday night in Miami, Florida. Here's our last live premier event stop on the road to WrestleMania, Elimination Chamber shaping up to be one hell of an event, and you're not gonna wanna miss a second of that action. The Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic will take place. The finals will take place at the Elimination Chamber. The winners not only will have their name etched in history as the 2024 winners of the Dusty Cup, but they will move on to WrestleMania to challenge Damian Priest and Finn Balor for the gold. And their opponents, accompanied by Ivy Knight, at a combined weight of 515 pounds, Julius Creed and Brutus Creed. The 2022 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners, Brutus and Julius, the Creed brothers, officially a part of Monday Night Raw and entering a tournament that has made its way to the main roster over the last two years. And I'll tell you what, these two young superstars, highly impressive in their Raw debut last week, turning away the sinister Joe Gacy and the harbinger of doom carrying cross. It was not an easy battle won, but Brutus and Julius making waves in their debut. And here we go, the first of two semifinal matches that'll take place live tonight at Albuquerque. The Street Profits, the Creed Brothers. The winners of this match will meet the winners of the Usos in Pretty Deadly live this Sunday at Elimination Chamber. Cannot wait to get to Miami, Florida this Sunday night on the road to WrestleMania. And as we mentioned, the winners of the 2024 Raw side of the Dusty Cup will go on to challenge Damian Priest and Finn Balor of the Judgment Day at WrestleMania for the World Tag Team titles of Raw. Still so much more action to come here tonight. Of course, the number one contender for the WWE Championship, the monster among monsters, Braun Strowman, set to clash with the almighty Bobby Lashley. As a little bit of layover from that eight-man battle royal where Braun punched his ticket for the number one contendership two weeks ago. Bobby Lashley a little bit frustrated in recent defeats, challenging the number one contender. Lashley out to prove himself all over again in the main event picture here on Raw. Remains to be seen what is gonna happen in the main event. But so far, so good for the Street Profits. A little double team action there on the young and super agile Julius Creed. Of course, the heavyweight of the team, Brutus Creed, off on the apron. They certainly make a great duo with the Street Profits. Although they've never won the Dusty Cup, have certainly been in the tag team title hunt before and are former tag team champions in their own right. Will they do so all over again in 2024? It could continue here tonight. But look at this. Great strength shown by Julius. This is what makes... Those Creed brothers, so dangerous inside of that ring. Such a versatile offense between both men. Speed, agility, strength. So much Julius and Brutus bring in their arsenals. 
And there's a tag made to Brutus Creed. Angelo Dawkins just trying to find his way, and Brutus Creed sending him for a ride. And there is not many people who are going to be able to do that to Angelo Dawkins. Brutus, however, one of those few men. Dawkins getting ran over that time by a freaking Mack truck. Brutus Creed soaking in the pageantry here in the middle of the pit at Albuquerque, New, Mex New Mexico, but Angelo Dawkins not going to allow him to soak in the pageantry. Dawkins and Ford have been scratching and clawing for another opportunity to reclimb the ranks of the Monday Night Raw Tag Team Division over the last few months. This Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, their window of opportunity to make their way back to the promised land. There's a tag made to Montez Ford, and as we see some more double team action, of course, also on your way tonight. One on one matchup between the Buff Barbie, Tiffany Stratton, as well as the prodigy of Raw, Roxanne Perez. Those are two of the three Monday Night Raw superstars that will compete inside the six women elimination chamber matchup this Sunday night for an opportunity to challenge for their brand's women's title at WrestleMania. This Sunday in Miami, Florida, certainly going to have huge WrestleMania implications. Not, e not only in the Elimination Chamber matches themselves, but of course in the finals of the Dusty Cup. Montez, four-year legal man, Julius Creed, goes for the drop kick, gets rejected. Oh, and he got it that time. I think he caught Ford in the middle of a super kick attempt. Great agility to not only move out of the way, but to take his talents to the air. And a shooting star press by Julius Creed. He wanted it last week to no avail. This week he hits it, but Montez Ford still in this fight. Opportunities do not come around every day, and every time you step foot inside of that squared circle, a chance to change your momentum here in the WWE. Both the Creed brothers and the Street Profits know what is on the line tonight. The Creed's looking to continue their success upon their Monday Night Raw debut. The Street Profits looking to get back in tag team title contention. Big time drop kick from Ford on the outside. I'll tell you, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford not afraid to break things down to a street fight here at ringside. Of course, as we mentioned the last time this tournament was held in NXT in 2022, the winners were the Creed brothers. So they know what it takes to make it through three rounds of this tournament and to overcome the odds. But the stakes higher than ever and the lights brighter than ever here on Monday Night Raw. Great offense by Ford to keep the momentum with the Street Profits. And Angelo Dawkins just manhandling Julius Creed over the top rope. I'll tell you, we have seen an aggressive side of Dawkins and Ford so far throughout this Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Tournament. It's been a rocky 12 months or so for the Street Profits here on Raw. Have not seen a lot of opportunities go their way. But again, this Dusty Cup, a chance for them to turn it all around. Of course, Damian Priest, Finn Balor, your current World Tag Team Champions of the Judgment Day, waiting in the wind for whoever is going to survive this eight-team eight tournament and meet them at the show of shows March 2nd or 3rd at WrestleMania. The Judgment Day, your fan-voted 2023 Tag Team of the Year, as well as hot off the heels of retaining their titles just a few weeks ago at the Royal Rumble against the New Day in what was a hell of a matchup. Great reversal by Julius that time. Was about to get squashed into the corner to no avail. Here comes Brutus. I don't even think Dawkins sold the tag as Brutus comes from behind and takes advantage. This rejection by Dawkins. Oh, wait a minute. Double underhook. I think we know what comes next. Dawkins with this spin out maneuver right on the canvas. Into the cover he goes. That might be a rope break there from our vantage point. Referee doesn't call it, but it's a kick out nonetheless. These two teams ready to throw their best shots at each other in the means of success here tonight. Oh, look at Brutus. This is how he defeated Joe Gacy last week on Raw. Reverse military press. Oh, but Angelo Dawkins said, I am not Joe Gacy, and I'm tough as they come. Oh, Brutus going to the top rope. He could be looking for a little bit of a variation of the Brutus ball, but Montez Ford says otherwise. And that is that little bit of a different side, if you will, of Dawkins and Ford coming into play as of late. The Street Profits, more aggressive than ever. And another close call there. 
here in your opening contest on Monday Night Raw. I'll tell you, the action hot and heavy in the Dusty Cup. And still to come tonight, Jay and Jimmy Uso back in action once more here on Monday Night Raw after their shocking return seven nights ago as they meet Elton Prince and Kit Wilson of Pretty Deadly. So much more to talk about about the Uso's return. We'll discuss it in detail later tonight when they are inside that squared circle. All roads lead to the Elimination Chamber this Sunday in Lone Depot Park, Miami, Florida, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Which one of these two teams is going to punch their ticket to what is going to be an oh-so-epic event? Ford tagged in once more. Brutus not looking so hot at the current moment as he gets dropped with the DDT. Montez Ford, you want to talk about the range of versatility in the arsenal of the Creed brothers. Well, Ford and Dawkins bring a lot of that same style. Montez Ford loves to take things to the air, super agile himself. Dawkins obviously bringing the power of the team. Dare I say, it's a pretty even matchup in regards to talent inside that squared circle. The Street Profits a little bit more familiar with this big stage here on Raw. I'll tell you what, familiarity or not, the Creed brothers are gonna keep swinging until they hear a bell. That is what made them so successful down at NXT. Former tag team champions in the black and gold brand. And as we mentioned, won this tournament in 2022, the final time it was held in NXT. Look at that tag made to Julius, and look at the strength, popping the hips off the belly to belly. And Montez Ford getting to his feet. Julius Creed, however, taking things to the air and throwing caution in the wind. My goodness. That could have ended disasterly for the Creed brothers that time. Luckily, Julius Creed hit his target. Massive drop kick to the outside, and I think going to continue to use the outside to his advantage as he takes Ford for a ride. And these two teams fight in tooth and nail. Referees at a count of five. There's one thing we know about the Creed brothers, they're gonna get things done inside of the ropes. But with Julius Creed, there's a little bit of that, I don't wanna say immaturity, maybe a little bit naive to this kind of moment. As Montez Ford is able to make the tag, unfortunately for the Street Profits, not working out at the current moment. Dawkins the legal man, nice reversal that time. Throws the ax hammers to get Julius off his back. Live rounds being thrown as Dawkins now. Double underhook again. He hit Bruce with this maneuver a few minutes ago. That spin out neck breaker. That is so unique in the arsenal of Dawkins and that might have been it had Brutus still not had his feet underneath of him. I think Dawkins has had enough. Dawkins targeting Brutus Creed and taking him off the apron. The Street Profits realizing they may need to divide and conquer in this opening matchup tonight in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Down goes Creed. Into the cover goes Dawkins. Not just yet, Julius is still into it. Who is going to make their way to the Elimination Chamber? Albuquerque, New Mexico coming unglued for Tag Team Wrestling in the midst of this Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic Tournament. This is, of course, the Raw side of the tournament taking place over the last few weeks that will conclude this Sunday. The SmackDown side of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic kicking off February the 2nd on Friday night. Wait a minute. Big time suplex that time. That is great strength shown by Angelo Dawkins. I'll tell you what, win, lose, or draw, you gotta give credit to both teams. They are leaving it all out there exactly as they should here tonight on Raw. Win or go home in this single elimination tournament. The opportunity of a lifetime rides on the line this Sunday. Not only to etch their names in the annals of history of the Dusty Cup, but also to move on to WrestleMania. Tag me to Brutus. Brutus Ball. The Creed Brothers may be one step closer to WrestleMania into a cover. Not just yet, Dawkins broke it up, but he gets met with a boot by Julius Creed. Montez Ford trying to come from behind, stacking up Brutus. The action hot and heavy in the middle of Albuquerque, New Mexico here tonight. It might just come down to a test of endurance and who's gonna get that one lucky shot to bring this thing to a close. Now it's Ford on the top and from the heavens. 
But Julius breaking it up once more. Man, what is it going to take to see victory here tonight? And there, oh man, there goes Julius Creed off the apron once more. Ford up on top as he going from the heavens again. Wait a minute, I think he's got his eye on Julius Creed at ringside. Montez Ford, big time crossbody. Julius Creed taken out. Angelo Dawkins being focused on by Brutus, but that may have been a misstep. There's another counter by Montez Ford. Montez Ford goes behind, rolling up the opposer. And he got him, he got him. The Street Profits steal the victory tonight in the middle of the pit. Well, that was one hell of a matchup to kick things off here on Monday Night Raw. The Creed Brothers, nothing to be ashamed of in defeat, but only one team could make their way to Miami, Florida this Sunday, and that is going to be Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford. Here are your winners, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits. The Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic continues to heat up. As we take a look at the bracket momentarily, there you see the Street Profits making their way through the Creed Brothers as well as the Brawling Brutes thus far. They move on to the Elimination Chamber this Sunday. Who will oppose them? We find out later tonight here on Monday Night Raw. The next time we come your way for a live premiere event, it is Sunday night, January the 28th, from Lone Depot Park in Miami, Florida. It is the 2024 edition of the Elimination Chamber. The final opportunity for the men and women of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown to punch their ticket to the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Who will seize the opportunity inside Satan's prison? Find out live on Sunday, January 28th at 5 p.m. Eastern time as WWE presents The Elimination Chamber. We're back live inside the pit in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Before we get to the Elimination Chamber, two of the three Monday Night Raw superstars in Satan's prison lock horns right now. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making our way to the ring from Laredo, Texas, Roxanne Perez. This Sunday night, three Raw superstars, three from SmackDown, compete inside the Elimination Chamber. Tiffany Stratton, Becky Lynch, and Roxanne Perez representing Raw. Raquel Rodriguez, Io Sky, and Bianca Belair representing SmackDown. Whoever picks up the victory is on their way to WrestleMania to challenge for their brand's women's championship at the show of shows. Certainly a vast variety of superstars inside of the chamber. Plenty of women that have been to the top before and women like Roxanne Perez and Tiffany Stratton who are still pretty new to Monday Night Raw over the last 12 months looking for that one big breakout moment and it could come this Sunday live in Miami, Florida. All remains to be seen, Roxanne Perez inside the ring set for action but here comes the buff Barbie herself. Tiffany Stratton looking for that coming out party if you will here on Raw. Of course, these are only two of the three Raw superstars that will compete. The man, Becky Lynch, returns to action this Sunday night. It's been a few, it's been a little while, excuse us, since we saw Becky Lynch in action on Raw. Of course, she has had her run-ins with the WWE Women's Champion, the Nightmare Rhea Ripley, dating back to Clash at the Castle in October, and of course, the Extreme Rules match in November at Survivor Series. But the man looking for one more go-around with Rhea Ripley. And that is, of course, if Rhea Ripley can make it to the Elimination Chamber, make it to WrestleMania, let me get that out correctly, make it to WrestleMania as the WWE Women's Champion. We found out last week that Rhea issued an open challenge for the Elimination Chamber, and from what we understand, we're going to find out who accepted that open challenge in just a bit here on Raw. Nonetheless, here we go between Stratton and Roxanne Perez, and Perez catching Stratton off guard off the opening bell. Both these women on the cusp of breaking out here on Raw. But who is gonna take the next step? Tonight is about momentum. Sunday is about the opportunity. WrestleMania lying in the way. 
And whether it's Rhea Ripley or whoever has accepted her open challenge for Sunday, one of those women will defend the WWE Women's Championship at the show of shows in the first weekend of March, WrestleMania. Tiffany Stratton's been on Raw for quite some time now, as well as Roxanne Perez, both newcomers over the last just under 12 months here on Raw. Neither of them have had so much of success, if you even want to call it that. I've had some go-arounds with some of the best of them. Roxanne Perez has been in the ring with Rhea Ripley. Tiffany Stratton has been in the ring with Asuka, Liv Morgan, Becky Lynch. At the end of the day, victories have not been on the side of these two women, but that is what this matchup, as well as Elimination Chamber, is all about. Taking the next step in your Monday Night Raw career. There's the buff Barbie in action. Big time power bomb. A much smaller competitor in Roxanne Perez. I'll tell you, Roxanne is definitely going to have a target on her back Sunday night. And sometimes it's not the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the heart in the dog. And as long as Roxanne Perez brings that fight to the Elimination Chamber, she's going to have just as much of a chance as anybody else. Tiffany Stratton, however, going to derail the confidence of Perez heading into Miami, Florida this Sunday. Stratton looking for that big time victory. Two former NXT Women's Champions looking to finally see some success here on Monday nights. Beautiful moonsault there. I'll tell you, Tiffany may have an ego about her. She has certainly got talent from bell to bell, as does Roxanne Perez. And who is going to get the better of the other here tonight? It's already been a noteworthy evening. What a matchup kicking us off moments ago. The Street Profits taking down the Creed Brothers. They are on their way to Lone Depot Park this Sunday. Of course, the Usos and Pretty Deadly will determine their opponents in just a little bit here on Raw. And of course, the monster among monsters, Braun Strowman, is set to clash with Seth Rollins on Sunday night for the WWE Championship. But tonight, he meets the almighty Bobby Lashley. Look at Perez go. Trying to bow a comeback in this thing. Couple of takedowns in the Luthez, and now Perez. Oh, I thought she was going for a double knee. She actually mixes it up a little bit there. Perez throwing a little bit of a wrench in her own arsenal to try to throw Tiffany Stratton off guard. A little bit of a twist midair. That did not go well for Stratton, that is for sure. She's going to feel those rib cages on Tuesday morning. Right, not even able to keep her balance as Roxanne Perez is starting to mount a comeback in this matchup. Perez all kinds of fired up in the middle of Albuquerque, New Mexico. And I am sure Becky Lynch as well as the SmackDown superstars, Io Sky, Bianca Belair, and Raquel Rodriguez have got their eyes on this matchup. We're going to do some last minute scouting. Of course, these two women representing Raw, but some of the women representing SmackDown and Bianca and Raquel they're set to go one-on-one -on -one this Friday night on SmackDown. Should be a hell of a matchup there. And look at Roxanne Perez. Cross face locked in on Tiffany Stratton. Stratton taps. Perez is going to be in the driver's seat on the way to Lone Depot Park. There's a nice reversal that time. And now Stratton, big time double knees on Roxanne Perez. Into the cover she goes. Will that do it? Not just yet. Close call there as Tiffany Stratton trying to get back into this matchup. Perez not looking to allow it. Going behind. No way to back suplex. Businesses pick it up in this women's division contest here on Raw. Who is going to get that sustained momentum? There's another counter by Stratton. Well, he's going to have some huge implications on these two women's momentum. Certainly confidence heading into Elimination Chamber. Neither of them looking to take a loss ahead of the biggest match of their two careers. Man, look at the strikes by Tiffany Stratton. She has came in with an A plan, B, C, all the way to Z tonight. Roxanne Perez looks like she don't know what hit her off those combination strikes. And now Stratton just trying to weaken the arm of Roxanne Perez. And Stratton's working on a little bit of everything tonight. No one particular body part in the focus of Roxanne Perez. Stratton just looking to overall drain her battery, if you will. Now Perez, worse for wear. Stratton takes her down. Oh, wait a minute. Stratton could be going for the prettiest mood soul ever. And it lands flush. And that's it. Tiffany Stratton picking up a huge victory here tonight in Albuquerque.
Roxanne Perez is going to have a chance to bounce back on Sunday, but Tiffany Stratton with momentum firmly in her grasp on the road to the Elimination Chamber. Here is your winner, Tiffany Stratton. What is going to happen when six women step inside Satan's prison? We find out live at 5 p.m. Eastern time this Sunday in Miami, Florida. What has been a noteworthy week here in the WWE regarding some of the superstars overall and SmackDown and everything having major implications on the road to the Elimination Chamber this Sunday. The Usos returning last week. They'll be in action up next. Cody Rhodes taken out by Randy Orton on SmackDown. And what about Rhea Ripley's open challenge for the Elimination Chamber? Well, that has been accepted by none other than the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Asuka returns to the ring as she takes on the Eradicator for the WWE Women's Championship. But there is a new X Factor as Dominic Mysterio has seemingly aligned with the Judgment Day. Will he play a factor when Ripley defends against Asuka live on Sunday night? We are back here in the pit, and the Dusty Cup continues. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 493 pounds, Jimmy and Jay the Usos. We talked about it a little bit last week as the Usos made a few comments before they burst through the curtain for the very first time since early 2022. But Jay and Jimmy have stated that they are back to simply remind the WWE Universe who the best tag team in Monday Night Raw history is. On top of that, the Uso see a brand new division, new teams that they have never wrestled before, a Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic that they've never competed in, and a team in the Judgment Day who is right now calling themselves the greatest tag team in Monday Night Raw history. Well, that is not sat in well with Jay and Jimmy and after taking over a year off here on WWE television. Jey Uso, Jimmy Uso, they are back to reclaim what was there for a very long time, and that's the kingdom to the tag team division. But that can only be so if they can get through pretty deadly here tonight. And their opponents at a combined weight of 357 pounds, Kim Wilson and Elton Prince, pretty deadly. Well, Pretty Deadly kicked off the 2024 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic two weeks ago in a successful bout against Cedric Alexander and Cameron Grimes. The Usos, of course, returning to action last week as they took on some old rivals and Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods of the New Day, an exhilarating main event that saw the Usos come out on top. But now another, or I should say, a first time ever meeting for the Usos. Old rivals last week, new Opponents here tonight, a first time ever collision against Pretty Deadly, Elton Prince and Kit Wilson. Now this should be a very interesting matchup for both sides of the field. How will the Usos adapt to some of the new blood here on Monday Night Raw? And will Pretty Deadly be able to outlast what is no doubt going to be their toughest challenge to date since joining the Red Brand back in the fall? Elton Prince and Kit Wilson, certainly some strange individuals at times, but you cannot knock the effort inside of the ring and certainly the results they have produced so far in the Dusty Cup. And I'll tell you what, the eyes are on pretty deadly tonight to go big or go home. If they defeat the Usos here in the semifinals, they may just be coming the favorite to win the Dusty Cup this Sunday night in Miami. We saw Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford get through the Creed brothers at the top of the hour. The Street Profits now await their opponents for the Elimination Chamber on Sunday night. Here we go, the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic set to continue in your second of two semi-final bouts. Kit Wilson and Jimmy Uso to kick things off here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And I'll tell you, this crowd, the WWE Universe, 
has been amped up over the last seven days since the Usos returned to the ring. The last time we saw the Usos, early 2022, when they lost their tag team titles to RK Bro. They stepped away from the squared circle after feeling they accomplished everything there was to accomplish. But now a new tag team division, new opponents like Pretty Deadly. A Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic that they've never competed in and certainly could be coming out on the other side if they can get through the next few teams. And an opportunity to return to WrestleMania to challenge the team that is really staking the claim over the Usos as the greatest team in Raw history, that being the Judgment Day. All easier said than done are those accomplishments. Pretty deadly looking to come out on the other side tonight and make their way to the Elimination Chamber. And certainly, tonight the biggest match of their careers, but the ante could be up on Sunday if they fight the Street Profits in the finals of the Dusty Cup. Hit Wilson, reversed there by Jay Uso, and Jay squashed him in the corner. Like a Samoan bulldozer, taken out. And over the top rope, not by will, but by force. Jay Uso fired up in the early going of this tag team match on Raw. The Kilt Wilson gonna take advantage and Jay Uso over the top. Kit turned his sights to Jimmy and allowed Jay to soar through the skies. Never wanna turn your back on the most, one of the most decorated tag teams in WWE history. Usos have been in there with some of the best. Kit Wilson, big time Lariat, the same Lariat that punched their ticket to the semifinals two weeks ago, but Jey Uso still in this fight. Kick going for an early pinfall there. He's got to know better than that. Got to recognize who you're in the who you're in the ring with. That being Jay and Jimmy of the Usos, as we mentioned, one of the most decorated tag teams in WWE history. And returning to the square circle with purpose over the last few weeks. Tag made to Elton Prince, a little double team by Pretty Deadly. I'll tell you what, as Jay makes the tag to Jimmy, it might be smart by Pretty Deadly to try and slow down the pace. The Usos ever explosive inside of the ring. Certainly when the crowd is rallied behind them, one of the most toughest teams to beat. Pretty Deadly got to try to take the WWE Universe out of it. Slow down the offense of the Usos. Jimmy turning his sights to Elton Prince there, did not realize that the tag was made to Kit Wilson, and a major uppercut to the back of the neck. Lights are on bright tonight for the former NXT Tag Team Champions, NXT United Kingdom Champions as well, Elton Prince and Kit Wilson are pretty deadly. And I'll tell you, they have certainly a confidence to the moon to say the least, but if they can get through the Usos tonight, pretty deadly may never shut up about defeating one of the greatest tag teams of all time. And Jay and Jimmy, look at that maneuver. Jimmy Uso staring up at the lights of the pit. Not just yet though, he's still under this thing. And once again, Albuquerque coming unglued. The look of a pretty deadly are starting to do here. Taking out Jay, taking out Jimmy, dividing and conquering and taking the WWE Universe out of the Uso sails. And again, Jimmy's still into this, but not very enthusiastic kick out that time. The Usos may have had the surprise factor against the New Day last week that obviously could have aided them in victory over their old rivals in Kofi and Woods. Pretty deadly have had seven days to prepare. Have they done enough homework on Jay and Jimmy? There's a major question that is at hand. I'll tell you what, as the pace begins to slow down, Kit Wilson tagging in Elton Prince and Pretty Deadly are firmly in control of this tag team bout. I'm sure Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford crowded around a monitor in the backstage area doing a last minute scouting report on whoever their opponents could be for Sunday night at Lone Depot Park. Will it be Pretty Deadly or will it be the Usos? Elton Prince cannot allow himself to get frustrated. You must recognize who you are in the squared circle with. Jimmy and Jay certainly not showing any signs of ring rust over the last seven days. One of the best teams to ever do it, and they're showing you why. As Elton Prince gets taken over the top rope, Jimmy Uso trying to rally the troops here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Elton back into the ring, and Jimmy Uso said, you want to fight, I'll give you a brawl. Uso's not afraid to break this thing down into a street fight, and there's a mean shot to the jaw. 
Not even getting the one count that time. Pretty deadly. Obviously recognizing the opportunity that is at hand tonight. Not looking to see it slip through the slip through their fingers. Jay tagged in. Both men going for shots, but it's going to be Elton Prince getting the first blow. Tag made to kit again. And I'll tell you, there's a lot of quick cut or qu quick tags, I should say. Elton Prince really hasn't been in this matchup a considerable amount of time compared to Kit Wilson. Uh, you gotta wonder if there's any looming injuries from their first round bout against Cedric and Cameron Grimes two weeks ago that they're trying to avoid. Nonetheless, regardless of the minute details, Jey Uso, Samoa drop, not just yet, pretty deadly still alive. Classic maneuver out of the Uso arsenal. Only getting the two count there, but Jay can continue to have his foot on the gas pedal. Another quick tag to Jimmy. On the opposite side of the ring, it seems like Jay and Jimmy are trying to keep each other fresh in this matchup that may have to do with some of that ring rush that, as we mentioned, has not necessarily been shown, but maybe that's just because the Usos are trying to avoid it. Now we got a tag here, and the Usos could be looking for a little double team action. Kit's in trouble. One knee by the Usos. A cover by Jay. No, not just yet. Elton Prince breaking things up. A close call there for the Usos. The one D to Kit Wilson easily could have been the one, two, three on their way to the elimination chamber. But still some bodies moving in this tag team matchup and the will to succeed hanging in the balance. Nice reversal by Jay. All could be winning this thing the same way Montez Ford did earlier tonight. Got the two count, not just yet. And another Samoa drop. Countered by Elton. Or should, excuse me, Kit Wilson with a counter. And a counter by Jay. Jay Uso taking out and Prince off the off the ring that time. Jay Uso all kinds of fired up. Into the ropes he goes. Another sidestep by Kit. Goes for the German. Another reversal. These two teams obviously did their homework coming into the pit here tonight. Albuquerque, New Mexico on their feet for this semifinals of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. And Jay with a couple of shots to the rib cage. The Usos not trying to allow Pretty Deadly to regain momentum in this match. Reversal for reversal the last few moments. Who is going to get that one final blow? Jay Uso with a takedown. Kit Wilson staring up at the lights. Pretty Deadly could be in trouble if the Usos really start to mount that major offense here. Oh, man! Super kick heard round New Mexico. Tag made to Jimmy. Tag made to Elton Prince. Who is going to get the last laugh at all, man? Well, Jay might have hit that super kick, but Jimmy just got his bell rung off that clothesline. Oh, man, a kick to the gut by Jimmy. The pendulum of momentum swinging back and forth in this semifinal bout. Jimmy scaling the ropes once more. Could be looking for that Uso splash, but Elton Prince getting to his feet, but is still meant with a major forearm to the jaw. That Uso splash is what brought the Uso's victory seven nights ago against the New Day. Could be looking for that exclamation point once more tonight as Jimmy once again scaling the ropes, but Elton Prince looking to avoid that Uso splash at all costs. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's going for a whisper in the wind, it looked like. Elton Prince out of the way, crash and burn. Jimmy Uso trying to let the adrenaline fuel him this time. Kit Wilson back inside the squared circle. Tag made to Jimmy. And nobody is able to sustain offense in this matchup. A double super kick by the Usos. Ooh. Who is gonna get the final nail in the coffin of this match? Elton Prince watching as Jey Uso takes out Kit on the outside. That double super kick that they delivered moments ago, enough to ring the bell of even the toughest superstars here on Monday Night Raw. Going for another super kick it looked like, reversed by Elton. 
being dragged into the corner. Jey Uso is in enemy territory. Double team coming from Pretty Deadly. Combination strikes. Oh my goodness. Kick to the rib cage will certainly slow down the momentum. And there's a cover. Pretty Deadly going to the chamber. Not just yet. And we have got a barn burner on our hands. Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic has been off the charts over the last three weeks. But who is going to make their way to the finals? Jay, take it off his feet once more with a monstrous big boot. Ain't nothing pretty about that pretty deadly boot to the jaw. However, Jimmy Uso now around with a three count. Jay from behind. Once again, the momentum swinging back and forth. Man, what is it gonna take? Elton Prince again, sending Jay into the ropes. Misses wildly off the elbow. Tries to go after Jimmy to no avail. Jay from behind, Bulldog. Jay and Jimmy have hit a, the majority of their best tag team maneuvers we have seen the one day. We've seen the double super kicks. Neither of them have been able to deliver an Uso splash in this thing. Maybe that'll be the exclamation point. All remains to be seen. Kit Wilson tagged in once more. Jay brings him into enemy territory. Once again, a tag made to Jimmy Uso. And here we go. Pop up. Samoa drop. Jimmy into the cover. Will that do it? Not just yet. Not just yet. Kit Wilson not allowing the Usos to cross the finish line. Oh, big time reverser. Into the cover. And again, back and forth. Live rounds being thrown between Pretty Deadly and the Uso brothers. Goes for that lariat, misses wildly. Jimmy with a kick to the rib cage. It was Jimmy who delivered the Uso splash seven nights ago. That got them pretty deadly. I should say, got the Usos the victory. And as Kit Wilson is laid out in the ring, Elton Prince goes flying off the apron. Jimmy back on top. Can we go for an Uso splash? Or wait a minute, different plans. Hits the whisper in the wind to the lower back. The Usos mixing up the offense, keeping it unpredictable, and that secures them the victory after one hell of a semifinal match. The Usos came into this with multiple plans in mind, throwing pretty deadly off their game, and after one hell of a battle, Jay and Jimmy continue their successful return to Monday Night Raw. The Usos on their way to battle the Street Profits live in Miami, Florida this Sunday night at the Elimination Chamber. Here are your winners, Jimmy and Jay, the Usos! Jay and Jimmy returned to Raw last week, shocked the world, turned away the challenge of Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. Tonight, they turn away Elton Prince and Kit Wilson of Pretty Deadly. We started with eight. We are down to two. Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford meet Jay and Jimmy Uso live this Sunday at the Elimination Chamber. The next time we come your way for a live premiere event, it is Sunday night, January the 28th from Lone Depot Park in Miami, Florida. It is the 2024 edition of the Elimination Chamber. The final opportunity for the men and women of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown to punch their ticket to the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Who will seize the opportunity inside Satan's prison? Find out live on Sunday, January 28th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time as WWE presents the Elimination Chamber. We are live this Sunday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time from Lone Depot Park, Miami, Florida for the 2024 
Elimination Chamber. And what a night it is going to be in South Beach. From Friday Night SmackDown, the Cruiserweight Championship will be on the line as the Mad Dragon, Ilya Dragunov, runs it back with the Irish ace, J.D. McDonough. These two men have been at each other's throats for weeks, but who is going to leave Miami as the Cruiserweight Champion of the World? As we found out earlier tonight here on Raw, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, has accepted the open challenge of the Nightmare Rhea Ripley. But how will the new X Factor and Dominic Mysterio fare? WWE Women's Championship is on the line this Sunday. 2024 Royal Rumble match winner Kevin Owens looks ahead to WrestleMania to challenge for the WWE title. But before he gets to the show of shows, can he bury the ghost of his past as he takes on Karrion Cross in a no disqualifications contest? The Street Profits, the Usos, these two teams have punched their ticket to the finals of the 2024 Raw Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. The winners not only win the Dusty Cup, but they are on their way to challenge the Judgment Day at WrestleMania. And who will go to WrestleMania to challenge for their brand's women's championship? Tiffany Stratton, Becky Lynch, and Roxanne Perez representing Raw. Io Sky, Bianca Belair, and Raquel Rodriguez representing SmackDown. Six women, one chamber. Who will survive? And of course, as we found out on SmackDown, Randy Orton taking Cody Rhodes out of the Elimination Chamber. Who will be in the sixth spot? We find out this Friday night, but we can confirm that Ricochet, Austin Theory, Drew McIntyre, Orton, and Braun Breaker compete for a world title match at the grandest stage. But who will be the world champion when we get to WrestleMania? We find out as Gunther defends his title against the alpha male of our species, Brock Lesnar. First time ever collision between these two heavyweights for the world heavyweight title. And in the Monday Night Raw main event, the monster among monsters, Braun Strowman, has taken Raw by storm since his return. He will challenge Seth freaking Rollins for the WWE Championship. The winner defends the title against Kevin Owens at WrestleMania. All that action is coming your way live this Sunday night at 5 p.m. Eastern Time from Lone Depot Park in Miami, Florida, the 2024 Elimination Chamber. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. Well, Braun Strowman looks ahead to Rollins on Sunday, but Bobby Lashley called out the number one contender for a matchup here tonight. Lashley has not been in the best mood over the last couple of weeks, taking a, multiple losses, including falling short of, to winning the WWE Championship back at the Royal Rumble. Bobby Lashley calling out the number one contender, Braun Strowman, the man who outlasted seven other Raw superstars in that eight-man battle royal two weeks ago. Lashley, I assume, imagines if he can defeat Braun Strowman, well, that's got to put him in line for a future WWE Championship opportunity. Lashley has been desperate to get the gold back around his waist. The Royal Rumble did not go the way Lashley planned. Neither did the Battle Royal 24 hours later. But maybe taking down the number one contender can put Lashley back in championship conversation. All remains to be seen, but the monster is here. And his opponent from Sheryls Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds. Braun Strowman made his return for the first time since last summer, just a few weeks ago at the Royal Rumble. Braun had an impressive showing in the 30-man outing, and then 24 hours later was the last man standing in the number one contender's battle royal. Now Braun Strowman takes on the visionary, the revolutionary, Seth freaking Rollins this Sunday night in what is going to be a sold-out Lone Depot Park in South Beach. And Braun Strowman, upon his return, could be hot on the heels of main eventing WrestleMania, defending the title against Kevin Owens, if he can get through Rollins this Sunday. All remains to be seen, but these two heavyweights are about to throw some live rounds in this main event. Braun not one to turn away a challenge. Another chance for him to build momentum on the road to the chamber. Lashley, oh so desperately, wants another shot at the gold. 
All well, remains to be seen what is going to happen here in your main event. We want to thank you for joining us live in Albuquerque, New Mexico, in the middle of the pit arena. It's been an action-packed night. Elimination Chamber coming up this Sunday, and what a night it is going to be on the road to WrestleMania. Bobby Lashley could be looking at this matchup tonight against the number one contender, Braun Strowman, as possibly one of his last chances to find his way in the championship conversation on the road to WrestleMania. Lashley, along with Solo Sokoa, competed for the WWE title at the Royal Rumble in the triple threat versus Seth Rollins. Lashley, unfortunately, was the one pinned in that matchup, but of course, that was originally supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one match between Lashley and Rollins, had Solo, I should say before Solo Sokoa, earned his way into it. Lashley was not happy about that, was not happy about the result of the Rumble, and certainly was not happy that he was thrown over the top rope a few weeks ago in the Battle Royal. Bobby Lashley obvious, obviously has had a rocky couple of months here on Raw, put on the shelf by Solo Sokoa after defeating Brock Lesnar back at Clash at the Castle in October. Cannot argue with the almighty Bobby Lashley that not everything has gone his way. He has scratched and clawed for opportunity. Unfortunately, has not been able to take advantage, but maybe tonight is where Lashley turns it all around. On the other hand, he got Braun Strowman, who's been a red hot since his return at the Royal Rumble. An impressive showing in the 30-man outing obviously was not the winner, but bounced back just 24 hours later, becoming number one contender. And Braun Strowman, one of the reasons he saw success is because of the power he possesses. Massive military press. Only a few men are going to be able to move the almighty like that. Strowman, the monster, certainly one of them. Now going for the bear hug this time. Trying to squeeze the life out of Bobby Lashley. Braun Strowman looking to keep the momentum firmly in his hands as he battles Seth Rollins in Miami, Florida on Sunday. But Lashley with a reversal. Oh, man. Of course, the Royal Rumble match winner, Kevin Owens, the night after the Rumble, let us all know on who he was going to be challenging at WrestleMania, and that will be Monday Night Raw's WWE Champion. He laid out Seth Rollins with a stunner, as well as a pop-up powerbomb. But the visionary may not even be the man that Kevin Owens is going to fight at WrestleMania. It very well could be the monster among monsters. We're going to have our answers this Sunday night. Elimination Chamber full of WrestleMania implications. Running power slam by Strowman. Oh, and Lashley powering up with the kick out at the last moment. That's as close to three as you can get. Braun Strowman throwing one of his best maneuvers at Bobby Lashley, but Lashley as tough as they come. Dare I say, as desperate and hungry as they come. Almighty has been trying to obtain the WWE Championship even before that matchup with Brock Lesnar back at Clash at the Castle in October. Lashley main evented SummerSlam last year, part of a fatal four-way matchup for the WWE title. Wasn't pinned there, but just another opportunity that Lashley saw go by the wayside. Over the top rope, Lashley throwing caution in the wind, but that is how you're gonna get the monster off his feet. He's going to use his surroundings to his advantage right into those diamond-plated steps. And now the fight continues at ringside. Bobby Lashley with Braun in his grasp into the barricade again. Lashley trying to wear down the number one contender for the WWE title. Oh, look at this. What a counter by Lashley. Huge power shown. Braun Strowman, however, continues to get up, continues to get to his feet. Lashley's got to be racking his brain at the moment, wondering what he's got to do to keep down the monster among monsters. Collar and elbow again. Braun Strowman trying to get back in the winning ways. Into the ropes goes Lashley, not by will, but by force of the number one contender and a massive boot. Braun Strowman looking to bounce back in this match. Two heavyweights colliding here in the main event of Albuquerque, New Mexico, and Monday Night Raw. Oh, Lashley may be in trouble. Braun hoisted him in the air. Face first off the canvas he goes. And I don't care if you're Bobby Lashley or if you're Akira Tozawa, Braun Strowman will run over anybody like a Mack truck with those maneuvers. And that is going to do it. Lashley gave him a fight. 
It was not a long battle, but it was certainly a physical one. But Braun Strowman is hot off the heels of his return and looking to leave Elimination Chamber this Sunday as the new WWE Champion. Here is your winner, Braun. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Rollins is in the ring. The champion's in the ring. And Seth Rollins ambushing the challenger with the title over the dome. Rollins is always looking for the upper hand. And Seth Rollins may have just awoken a monster that he cannot turn away. Will Rollins retain the gold? Or will Braun Strowman punch his ticket to WrestleMania? We find out live this Sunday. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, don't need no cap. I'm a rapper.